Hey guys, so we're back with another video. I am your host Slippy Celestial. Now things are about to get very serious and heat up. So this is going to be the semi-finals for the women's 400 meters hurdles and then we're going to jump into the finals after this. Alright, let's see what's going to happen. So Sydney McLaughlin flies to the world best and then pass by all these people. That is the title of the video. So now let's react to this because I can't wait to see what she's about to do now. If she cruise by a 5307, what the heck she's gonna do at the semis? It's like she, the more she runs, the more she opens up her gap. I don't know what's about to happen, but Lord knows whoever that's in this line, they're gonna be in trouble. everybody why she's already the best ever by winning her heat in 5307. Nobody in the history of this event has ever run faster in the opening round. She owns the trials record as we look at her mom and dad and the rest of her entourage and there's her husband Andre. She owns the trials record 5190. That's her old record from three years ago and the world record was set in this building two years ago at Worlds. It wouldn't feel like women's 400 hurdles, Simon, if there wasn't Dalila yeah. Muhammad up against Sydney McLaughlin Lavoni. Yeah, the Olympic champion, world champion, had this to say after her prelim. She had a message for young people, and I'll paraphrase. She said, don't let anyone determine your worth. She said, I got caught up in that too, and when I stopped getting the attention, I thought it wasn't worth it. And that's never the case. She said, you got to do it for you and do it for your love of the sport. And I really love that. She's announced that this will be her final Olympic trials, and she's enjoying every minute of it. And let me, before they get into that, let me just explain this. For track and field, okay. So for for track and field people that, or people that don't do track and field, people that tend to run the 400 meters hurdles, just think of it as long jump. A lot of long jumps every day, or triple jump. They put so much strain on your knees or on your uh, legs that. As you keep running it every day, championship, world championships, diamond leagues, um, Olympics, all these take toll on your legs, but you don't realize that as you get older, you'll start feeling that. It's a lot of pressure, but that's what it is to mean an athlete. But enough of that, so the, let's look at the lane assignment for the semis. Alicia, Alicia Lazo. Gorozo um, is in lane one. Bian Bianca Butler, Stutler, uh, Bustler is in lane two. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name. Robinson, Kayla Robinson, Erboard, Ur um, Delilah Muhammad, Sydney McLaughlin Aroni, Hannah, and Cassadiria Tate. And Aliria Mudbridge, Mudbride. Okay, guys. So these are the women's. So the lane is packed. So I guess top three heads to um, finals. Grosso is in one. Lane five and six are gonna be insane. Two. Delilah and Sydney. That's another. That's another back-to-back -back fight. And Kobiak in seven. Sandra Tate in eight, and Alira McBride in nine. I'm gonna enjoy this. The last two world record holders in the event, and number one and number three all time. Sydney's gonna to have to go out fast because she knows Delilah in on the inside is gonna come after. Mm. Top two automatically go through to the final tomorrow. Oh, 
close. It's getting closer. It's getting closer. Come on, come on, come on, Sydney. Come on, come on, Delilah. Oh, 52.48. Delilah made it. the fastest time in the world this year. So Sydney McLaughlin, Lebroni, ho hum. Another shot around the oval, Sonia. Back off at the end. Nobody's run faster this year. My goodness, we were just talking about Rochelle played up, who ran in the Jamaican trials and ran 52.51, having the second fastest time a little bit ahead of Sydney. Well, that's gone already yep. with no effort. My God! Why is she so fast? How is she so much faster? You start with bona fide prodigy from high school who can run the four, the two, the one. She can long jump, Damn. and then you put her with great coaching, both at the University of Kentucky and now Bobby Percy. Great training partners like a thing mo, and this is the result. I talked to Tanya Bradley about this event because I too want to understand why is she so great. She said she's revolutionizing the event. She said doing 14 strides between the hurdles, no one has ever been able to do it successfully and run so fast. She just said she is an anomaly. And it's just incredible that we get to call her races because she is so fun to watch compete. So just to put this time in perspective again, number of women besides Sydney McLaughlin who have run faster than this time, six in history, in the history of the event. And that's just the semifinal for her. Oh my God. So guys, this is was amazing. I was rooting for both Delilah and Sydney. Those are the veterans. And the fact that Sydney hit a world lead while just jogging a 52-48. Delilah got a 54-16. So she she boosts her way up to to all two. She's going she's they're going to the finals with no problem. But I think that it's the problem at the end. Who's gonna make the third team? The, the the team at the end. Oh my god. This is insane. This is insane. The rest of the people, I'm sorry, this is your last stop. But the finals are gonna be insane. There's gonna be another rematch between Delilah and Sydney. So guys, is this is it? We at the final part of the video. I just wanna thank you guys so much as we about to close out on a phenomenal phenomenal US trials for 2024 Paris Olympics so Sydney's about to take us out for the final video thank you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video